hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video we're going to discuss about the complement system canine system and also clotting system and what does a complement system mean so complement system means the in release of pro inflammatory proteins what does a complement it releases the pro pro inflammatory serum proteins which help for the process of inflammation so what does a complement system have firstly complement components proteins or uh, components and proteoidin system and control proteins proteolysis proteolysis happens and there will be uh, the large frag the larger fragments which of the proteins are present in large fragments we um, uh, remember them we symbolize them with b cascade with cascade reaction the cascade reaction and and the smaller fragments by the small fragments we symbolize them with a in which there is no cascade reaction the complement uh, the comp, uh, complement components proper protein and control proteins by proteolysis these are the three things which are present in the complement system and first thing that we need to know and what are this complement proteins and what is the uh, what how many are there we can say that there are level distinct proteins of complement proteins coming from c4 c1 to c9 in which consequence we can say c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 c7 c8 and c9 so how can we say 11 distinct 11 distinct uh, proteins are present in which c1 has three forms c1 can be in of three forms that is c1 ciq cr and cs in which c1 is of three forms and it gets into c1 help and the consequence one helps the other to form the c9 and these all proteins they helps in the uh, uh, vascular and cellular cellular events of the inflammation in what way does they help as we said in the previous video of second video that c3 a and c5 a they helps in release of the mast cells in which they activate the mast cells and they help in degeneration of the mast cells this c3 a c4 a c5 a they helps in release of histamine what does the histamine do they they helps in vasodilation and they increase the vascular permeability and and uh, sorry and the c3b c3b helps in opsonization we discussed about the opsonization uh, and also the promotion of the phag phagocytosis in the first video and what is the main aim of all these uh, proteins what are the what is the main aim of this complement components of the uh, of the proteins is forming mac complex mac complex is membrane attack complex from the name itself we can say that it is an attack complex of the membrane which helps in the uh, which attacks the membrane so how does this happen how does this complement proteins helps and this helping system of complement proteins it is of three ways the first way three ways the complement system complement system three ways they are uh, those are classic alternate and lectin from the uh, officially we can say that the pathways are uh, two ways but coming from the robins robins and international editions lectin pathway is also present and classic path in classic pathway in which by antigen antibodies antibodies phagocytosis gets promoted in which there is no need of any um, my microbe uh, microbe and there is no mac complex mac complex do form but not in a uh, direct way in a indirect way so in the classic pathway the antigen antibodies helps in the promotion of phagocytosis and with the how does they with c uh, c3 uh, c3b in an alternate pathway in alternate pathway the microbial surface gets destroyed by formation of membrane attack complex and in which inflammation occurs 
and this alternate pathway it is done by C three A C five A. In which now we have learned about classic and alternate. In which classic is an antigen antibody reflex and also it helps in phagocytosis with the help of C three uh, C three B complement. And in alternate pathway, the microbial surface gets ruptured with Mac complex. Uh, and after this Mac complex, they do the inflammation with the complement proteins of C three and C five A. And what is this lectin pathway? This layer in which before coming to this lectin path, we need we needs to know about properdin system as we said here the properdin system in which what does this properdin do is as we said here C five A and C three A complements are there in which the convert the uh in which the factors like uh, factor B factor D and also properdin they Help for the destruction of microbe by leukocyte. Destruction of microbe by leukocyte. This is the properdin system in which they destruct. They destruct the microbe by the leukocytes. What is a leukocyte? It is a WBC. So this properdin, this factor B and factor D, they destruct the microbe and in which and it further does the inflammation. That is the end of at the end of the pathway. The classic pathway gives phagocytosis, and the alternate pathway gives the inflammation. Lectin pathway. Lectin pathway is depend on mannose binding receptor. Mannose binding receptor binding the to lectin and forming a Mac complex and doing the lysis of microbe. Doing the breakdown, doing the breaking synthesis of the microbe. At the end of the day, I, in the lectin pathway, the microbe gets destroyed. Inflammation, the uh, it uh, the defense of the microbe results in the inflammation, in which phagocytosis engulfment of the microbe happens in the classic pathway. These are the p three pathways, which is needed. <coughs> In the complement system, and proteolysis, lysis of the proteins, in which lysis of the proteins means C three, uh, uh, the lysis, the breakdown of C three into C three A and C three B, in which C three B helps in C, <coughs> sorry, C four, and in which it further gives C five, in which pro, with the help of proteolysis, C five A, C five gives C five A, C five B. In which C five B gives further consecutors C six, C seven, C eight, and C nine. <coughs> and how this is how the proteolysis happens. And this is all about the complement system. For a quick revise, <coughs> what is a complement system? Complement system is a pro-inflammatory serum proteins in which it has com complement components, pro properdin system, and control. Control proteins and whatever the fragments, we, uh, if the fragments present in larger size, we say as B, and smaller fra fragments we uh, symbolize with A. In which in A there is no cascade reaction, in in which there is no intrinsic and extrinsic pathway of clotting factors. In which B there is a cascade reaction, in which there is a cascade reaction means intrins intrinsic and uh, extrinsic pathway clotting factors uh, uh, process is present in B. So what are these complement components? They are C one to C nine, and there are eleven distinct proteins in which C one can be in three forms: C one, C I Q, C B, C S, C I Q, C R, and C S. In which with the the proteolysis, in which with the help of proteolysis, the further enzymes, the further complement proteins are from formed. In which the main action is doing helping the process of inflammation. In which they help the vascular and cellular events. In which C three A, C C five A helps in activation of mast cells, regeneration of mast cells. Mean the powerful complement of the component entire complement system is C five A. And the next after the C five A, the most powerful is C three A. So this is the first powerful. This is the second powerful. 
and the C3, C4, C5 helps in release of the histamine in which histamine does vasodilation and also vascular permeability increase in, increase in vascular permeability and the C3B it, ha, it is a convertase ha, helps for C5 and also it helps in opsonization and promotes the phagocytosis at the end of this all the complement components the end of it is forming a MAC complex in which the complement system Ha, has three pathways classic alternate and lectin pathway uh, the classic pathway with the help of antigen antibody they do the phagocytosis by c3b in alternate pathway the microbial surface gets ruptured by uh, c3a c5a factor b factor b factor d and also propodin in which mac complex get formed and inflammation is done in lectin pathway the mannose binding to the lectin they form a MAC complex and the microbe gets destroyed by lysis of the microbe. This is all we need to know about the complement system. I hope this video is very informative and understanding. Thank you for watching.